Hi, in this video we're going to go over the measurement tools within AutoCAD. So here under utilities, we have a few options. We have distance, radius, angle, area, and volume. The volume is for 3D shapes, um, solids. The rest of them we can use either in 2D or in 3D. We'll stay with the these ones right here first. So we can either get it from there. And so now I can select it two points. As I'm moving through, it'll show me the direct distance between the two points. If once I click, it'll give me the angle between the the actual distance between the two points, and then a horizontal and a vertical distance also. So if I escape and do that again, move between this corner and that corner, you can see that I have the 3.8. That's a direct distance. 1.9 between them horizontally, 3.29 vertically. It knows that's a 60 degree angle. I can also use DI as the, the alias for that. Radius, if I want a circle. So I could do that, radius, pick a circle, and it would tell me what it is. Another option is I can just pick on it, and then turn on my quick properties. And that will give me that here also. The benefit of here is I can actually go in and change it also though. So I usually prefer just to use the quick properties if I want to see the, the radius or diameter of a circle. Angle, same kind of thing. I could pick two lines. Tell me the angle between them. Um, it's good for just measuring angles. Um, the other one we use a lot though is the area. So if I use area, you can see down here it asks me to select the first corner point or an object or add an area or subtract an area. Um, and the the object is the default option. So what it is, what it's meaning is though, is though if I pick option, it has to be a closed polyline. So like this polygon, it's a closed polyline. A circle is a closed shape. This one is just a line. It's not going to let me do it. So if I do op object, pick on that, it'll tell me what the area and the perimeter is. If I pick the circle. It'll tell me the area in circumference. If I just pick the points, I can kind of just go over these points and pick them. But it's a little kind of monotonous. And when I'm done, I just hit enter. You know, tell me the area and perimeter there. An easier way to do that would be to use P edit. Select that one, turn it into a ply line, and then join it with those other options. And now I can go in use the object and pick it in one pick. So it's a little bit faster that way. Another option within here was the add and subtract areas. Um, this is if I have two shapes like this and I only want the area in between them. So I can go in and say add object. Pick that one because that's the object that I'm going to use. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to subtract from object that one. So now it's going to go in and actually subtract that inside area from the outside area. So if I hit F2 you can see the first area was 12.56 gave me a total of 12.56. The second one when I did subtract the area was 3.14 and then that gave me a total of 9.42. So I don't have to get out and actually do subtraction myself and write a bunch of things down. I could do this even if it was a more complicated shape. So if I had, I don't know what this is, just something like that. And I had those shapes within it, I could go in, do an add area with an object here and now subtract object there and there. And now I would see my, my total area is with all those. All right. Another option that we have instead of using the, the measurement utilities is if I use the list option. And this is one just kind of gives me some general information. So if I pick a shape, hit enter, 
what it'll, it'll do is it'll tell me what the x, y, and z coordinates for each point is in addition to the area or perimeter. Um, if I have just a line and I use a list, what'll happen is it'll tell me the from and to uh, endpoints, the length, the angle it is, and then the change which is the delta in the x and y and z. So you can see if it's moving back and forth at all. Um, so that's another option if you're just looking for that information there. Um, but you can also see that general information going to the quick properties. You can see the length um, there. And if you go to the full properties, you can see starting in points of the line also and the deltas.